Hey, I am Heather Graham, and I'm really excited to be sitting here with my friend, Susan Elizabeth Phillips, because we don't get to see each other that often, but she did something to me last night. Yeah, I apologize for the rumor I started about us and the tattoos and possibly getting married afterward. You mean the tattoos aren't real? I, I'm not going to go any further with this. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I think I always, I, to tell you the truth, I actually always did want to get one little tiny tattoo. Did you? Yeah, too bad your plane's coming so fast. I we could have gone to get them. Yeah, we, well. could, we could try again. Because our hotel is right next to a tattoo parlor. I know. Parlor. It Here was so go. convenient. Hey, what, what's, what's up? What are you doing? You know, I'm finally kind of at the end of the Call Me Irresistible book tour, uh, which started at the end of January, and uh, getting back to write the follow up book, which is going to be Lucy's book. Anybody who read Call Me Irresistible knows that we have a runaway bride very close to the beginning of that book, and the readers would kill me if I didn't tell her story. Yeah. How about you? Oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> um, I'm, getting, I'm getting ready to go out with the crew of Hunters, which is basically Criminal Minds meets Ghostbusters. So, first book on that, Phantom Evil, is coming out, and in the summer there'll be these people like the. I love my publishers, but they do like the titles where I forget what I've written. So it's Phantom Evil, Heart of Evil, Sacred Evil, and The Evil Inside. Uh -huh. so, but I'm so excited because you're one of my friends who um, is really impressive because all my other friends are like, oh my God, you really know Susan Elizabeth Phillips? We've and known each other us. longer. I mean, we were children when I we know. met. I know. Well, we're, we're not children anymore. Huh? Oh, well, well, we both started writing about the same time. That's right. We were 10. And, yes, we are both theater ma majors. That's right. And yep. this was our fallback career. That's <laughs> When we didn't get famous. That's right. That's right. But if I ever get you out, I'll put you back on stage again if oh. I can get you to New Orleans or RT. Oh, yeah. No, not going to happen. <laughs> not oh, going to happen. Oh, I don't know. We, I, you know, I mean, we, we made it to the tattoo parlor. and probably get you on stage. Oh. Maybe. You know, we were talking earlier about um, how, about the themes that we tend to write about, mm -hmm. and there are certain themes that we keep going back yep. to, but both of us were kind of clueless what those themes were. Other That's people true. had to define them for us. My, That's true. My theme definer is um, Jennifer Krizzy. She tells me what I do. <laughs> well, she's an acad has an academic yes. background, and she reads my things, and then she explains to me what my themes are and what my approach is, and, all, and I appreciate it. I do too. And Jen Cruzy is so funny that um, even if you had no clue or you're not sure, Jen, was that a compliment or were you insulting me? <laughs> it doesn't matter because she's so funny. I really and you, you love what she says to you. Yeah. Anyway, I'm so excited to see you. It's and great. I can't believe we have at least we had now at least we had some quality time. Yes, we did. Right. Good seeing you too. Okay.